With the season coming to an end, I just wanted to discuss some of the contract situations on the Chicago Bears, and if you haven't seen part one and part two of my videos, check them out as they go over the offensive side of the ball, but this video will be part three and will only focus on the defensive side of the ball. And the way I'm going to categorize this is just in three categories. Starters, players who are unproven and still can be backups, and positions of need. So first, we're going to start with the inside of the defensive line and look at the defensive tackle position. The only player who's signed through next year is number 93, Justin Jones. Armand Watts, in my opinion, has shown enough to where I feel for the right money, he can still be a placeholder moving forward with, uh, with some upside. However, Angelo Blackson and Mike Pinnell are the other two defensive tackles that are hitting free agency. I feel both of them are pretty expendable. We saw very little production from this defensive line this year, so a changeup may be better, in my opinion. A premier defensive tackle through the draft would be a really good option, seeing as how there's very little talented free agents available. It doesn't need to be a top 10 pick, though. The Bears should trade back somewhere in the first round, though, or early second. I do believe defensive tackle will be what the Bears are looking at. At the defensive end position, you have Travis Gibson and Dominique Robinson on the books, as well as Muhammad. Taco Charlton was acquired by the Bears, but hasn't played yet. He may be an option, but once again, you're going you're going to have to look at free agency and the draft for more depth and impact from this position. Defensive line in this scheme is extremely important. If you have the line figured out, things kind of funnel down fairly easily to the linebackers, and so those guys then don't have to be top talented playmakers to get their job done. At middle linebacker, Sanborn has shown enough to keep starting. He signed for three more years. However, we don't really have a backup middle linebacker on the books. And the only outside linebacker we have on the books is Sterling Weatherford, who was a waiver wire pickup and has seen very little time on the field. Um, this is a position that needs some attention. However, we have some players we can resign, and even just average players in free agency will do the job just fine. You just got to go out there and find the right guy for the right price. You could draft here. If you do, I would hope it would be a little bit in the later, later rounds. Both of our starting corners next year only have one year left on their deal. Kyler Gordon is in the rotation as well. He doesn't necessarily have to play nickel, but he's here for three more years. This position is very thin for the Bears. I think you got to go out there and target someone like Marcus Peters or Patrick Peterson or even take a shot at Kyle Fuller if the Ravens don't keep him. We need more veteran presence in the corner position and more depth. Safety may be the only position we're actually fine at. So there it is, guys. At the end of the day, Ryan Poles is going to have to be very, very busy. This is why I'm really behind getting a high pick and trading it for more picks because there's just a ton of holes to fill on both sides of the ball. This is probably the most important Bears offseason in my memory.